Now we want to revisit polygons. Remember, when we talk about a polygon, we're talking about <clears throat> these line segments that intersect other line segments at two places. So for example, we've got these sides here on this polygon. See, here's a side. And each of these sides intersect at these vertices. These are called vertices right here, these, these little corners. So this is a vertex here. And they don't intersect more than two, uh, two other sides. So this side right here where I, that I labeled, it intersects this side and this side and no others. Okay. Those are the things you have to have for a polygon. You have line segments. They intersect other two, li uh, two other line segments. Now, so this right here, this is a polygon. And in fact, remember, it's called a pentagon because it has five sides. So this right here, this is a pentagon. Now, I've also drawn a, a pentagon over here. Notice it has sides and it has vertices. Each side intersects two other sides, exactly two other sides, and they intersect at a vertex there, you notice, okay? Now, notice these two uh, pentagons look a little different. If you, uh, what we could do is we could think about the interior of these, of these pentagons, the interior is this in here. Over here, the interior, you can see. And there's something fundamentally different about these. Notice, with this one here, we call this a convex polygon. And this one over here is a concave. And remember the difference. If we go to any side of, of this polygon here and extend it out, Notice, no matter what side we do that to, it never crosses through the interior of the polygon. See? No matter which side I extend out, it never cuts through the interior. Now consider this other one. This other one, let's go to this side right here. And if I extend it out, uh-oh, it's in the interior. When that happens, what we have is a concave polygon. So this polygon here, the second one, is a concave polygon. Now, one other thing, remember, if all the sides of a polygon are of equal length, if all the segments have an equal length, we call that equilateral. If all the angles of a polygon are of the same measure, we call that equiangular. Okay, so there's equilateral. Equiangular. And if you have the situation where both of those are true, we call it regular. If it's both equiangular and equilateral, we call that a regular polygon. Now, I put in here just some of the names that we've used for polygons. You know, three sides, it's a triangle, four sides, a quadrilateral, and so forth. Now, one bit of information that we're adding on in this section that we didn't talk about in the previous, you know, back in, uh, in chapter one, is uh, the interior angles of a quadrilateral. We're going to just look at that, okay? So if you have a quadrilateral, like this one here, this one, and you add up all the angles in that quadrilateral, all the interior. Here's 80 plus 70. If you add up all of these, so angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4, that's going to add up to 360 degrees. Now remember, that's different. A triangle, all the angles, all the interior angles add up to 180. But here they add up to 360. So let's suppose I want to find x on this one. So here's a typical problem. I know that x plus 2x plus 80 plus 70, I know that has to equal 360. Well, let's see what this is. This is 3x, well, 5x. No, 3x, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. 
uh, equals 130. Actually, 150, doesn't it? Plus 150. So 80 plus 70, that's 150. Equals 360. Okay? Then that means that 3x equals 180 minus 360. I guess that would be 210. And that would be x equals 70 if we divide. So x equals 70. So, look, x equals 70. That means this is 70 degrees here. And this is 140. Okay, 140 degrees. So let's see if that adds up. So we have 80 and 70. That's 150. We have plus 140. Let's see what that is. That's uh, 290. And then we add 70 onto that. Ooh, 360. Hot dog. We got it. Okay, so this is really the only new thing we're looking at <laughs> in this section, this interior angles of a quadrilateral theorem. So I'll, I'll leave you to the assignment then.